Hello, and welcome to Searching the Scriptures, a daily podcast where Bible questions will be given Bible answers. No opinion, just Bible. For today's episode, we will be looking at the question of what does the number 144,000 refer to in Revelations chapter 7, verse 4? Well, just as with any topic, uh, we need to go to the Bible for our answers. It doesn't matter what I say. What does the Bible say? So let's read Revelation chapter 7 and verse 4. Verse 4 reads, And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed an hundred and forty-four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. There are many curious things that people teach about this one hundred forty-four thousand. In this passage, 144,000 are said to be the number of people who were sealed. Well, what does that mean? That means people who were accepted by God from all of the tribes of the children of Israel. But the problem is, some religious groups have leaped to the wrong conclusion that only the 144,000 are going to be given heaven. This is not so. How do I know this is so? Is this my opinion? No. Let's skip ahead in the same chapter, in the same context, after Revelation 7. Let's read verse 9. After this I beheld. So in other words, after the 144,000, I beheld. So after this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds of people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes, and palms in their hand. There was a great multitude, which no man could number, not of the children of Israel, of all nation and all people. So the question is, what do these numbers represent? The answer is pretty clear. They represent the fact that God is going to save both Jew and Gentile alike. He's going to save both. But, he, but the Gentile nation is going, for the most part, to be the people that hear and accept Christ. The 144,000, that could be numbered. That's a lesser number. But of all the people, there's going to be a great multitude which no man could number. These are the Gentiles of all nations. So there will be more Gentiles who accept the gospel than Jews. That's all this verse is teaching. Nothing more and nothing less. Do not let people cloud your mind or worry you concerning some far-fetched theories that have arisen concerning this number. You can get to heaven without being part of some special group of people called the 144,000. But the Bible doesn't teach that everyone is going to heaven. Whether we're Jew or whether we're Gentile, we have to obey the gospel according to what the Bible says. In Mark 16, 16, uh, we read, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be condemned. Notice, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Belief is necessary. Baptism is necessary. He that believeth not shall be condemned. If you don't believe, you're going to be condemned. Who are the people that are going to be in heaven? Those who obey Jesus Christ, those who believe and are baptized. The question is, have you obeyed the scriptures? If you haven't, let's, you need to read the scriptures, you need to understand, and you need to obey. That's what the Bible tells us that we need to do. Well, that brings us to the end of another episode. Searching the Scriptures has been brought to you by the East End Church of Christ, which meets every Sunday at 10 a.m. at 3601 Victoria Park Avenue, Suite 200, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. If you have any Bible questions that you would like to have answered during this podcast, or if you have any general comments about what you have heard today, you may email them to Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. That's Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Finally, if you'd like to catch up on any episode that you missed, 
You will find them at www.eastendchurch.org under the daily podcast tab found on the main page. I hope you found the few minutes that we spent together today useful in expanding your knowledge of what the Bible teaches. Please join me tomorrow when we will be discussing what the Bible means when it says, Call no man father. Goodbye, and have a great day.